Here's how to solve the data science case study interview problem, which are usually causal inference. Typically in the case study round, you're going to be asked, how do we find the impact of something? This could be across product or marketing or really any other field. Now, the first thing you are always expected to do is ask clarifying questions. This is because the business problem they give you is always so vague that if you just go flying off in one direction, you are almost certainly going to be wrong. And even if you're right, the clarifying questions are on the interview rubric, so you'll be penalized if you don't do this. Some key points to clarify. First, what are going to be the business goals? What is the proposed intervention? Who is going to be affected and not affected by the intervention? How are they affected? And at what point are users affected by the intervention? And I'm going to break these down all in a little bit. Now, what you're going to need to answer by the end of this interview round, and if you're doing this in the job in real life, is why is this a non-trivial problem, first of all? What do they need a data scientist for? Second, what metrics matter in this case? Third, what will be your measurement strategy to estimate the impact on these different metrics? And what obstacles are there to your strategy? Now, the more senior you go, you should expect there will always be obstacles to the strategy. And part of the interview rubric, again, they're going to be judging you on how well you can call out these obstacles, even if you can't always solve for them. And then finally, what would be your recommendations going forward, given all these obstacles that you have? So some common business goals might be we want to increase new users. We want to increase the retention of our current users. We may want to increase revenue or net profit. In some cases, it may be revenue, such as uh, like you just are trying to get like ad revenue. But in other cases, if you're doing sales, there may be different things with like cost of goods sold that you may care more about net profit. And finally is uh, engagement. And user engagement may be related to long-term retention or revenue, like let's say you're talking about meta, where more engagement on the sites will lead to more ad revenue. Obviously, there might be other things going on as well. Some examples of proposed interventions. Is this a launch of a new feature? So is this part of the product team? Is there a new marketing campaign? So maybe they have a different strategy or they're putting up billboards that are really expensive and hard to measure impact. Are there engineering improvements? Is the site faster? Are we reducing bugs? Or maybe there's like a product recommendation strategy that is changing. So now people are getting emails with recommendations or on the site, they're getting recommendations uh, like at the cart. Here are some more items that you might like. So which users are going to be treated or untreated? Who is receiving the treatment? Are these going to be new or existing users? Are there any holdout groups? Is there any sort of staggered rollout? If let's say there's a feature launch, maybe some groups get it first and then others get it later. Next is how are these users affected? Maybe they get an email with a coupon. Maybe they're going through the customer funnel, they're going through the journey and they make it to the, sh the cart. And then there's a pop-up request that asks them if they might be interested in new or additional items, or maybe they're just an automatic change. So now you log on to the account and your account is running faster. And in those cases, you don't have to do anything. The, the company just sort of made this change to your account. And another clarifying question is when were these users affected? So for example, as they're going through the customer funnel, they're searching for products, they're looking at different things, they're adding items to the cart. When in this journey are they affected? And then some of these other questions try to help you identify what users may be unaffected. Are there certain triggers that lead you to get into uh, receiving this treatment? Or can they avoid the treatment by taking some alternative path through the customer funnel, you know, or maybe they avoided the treatment because they've opted out of marketing emails and now they can't receive an email no matter what. So there's obviously so much more to talk about. We haven't even gotten into uh, breaking down the things that you need to answer, uh, but this is long enough for one video. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, put in the comments, like, and follow, and this will be one of the topics uh, breaking down what you need to answer coming up soon.